So I've been testing out and working on a review for the Say Beauty line for quite a while now. Um, I think I've been using them exclusively for like the last, I don't know, I want to say like month and a half, two months possibly. Time just sort of like flies by these days. I don't really know how long. <laughs> I have no concept of time anymore. Um, but I've been working on a brand review for Say Beauty. Um, and then I saw, like when I was about ready to film what I was planning on filming, I saw that they launched a new product. Um, it was the only product that I had been supplementing with something else because they didn't have it. Um, so I decided to put that on hold until this product came out. I was able to try it and then I could sort of, you know, not sort of, I could review it. Um, so Say Beauty, the only product they didn't really have was like a concealer, like a complexion product. I mean, they've got this slip tint, which is the tinted SPF, but it's not, I'm wearing it right now and it's not like a foundation. It doesn't have the coverage like a foundation. They also have a setting powder, but they didn't have really like a coverage complexion product. So something for the rest of, you know, for like your under eyes, for spots, things like that. So I had been testing out the whole line and supplementing with uh, my all-time favorite concealer, the one that I compare every other concealer to is the Fit Glow Beauty Conceal Plus. So that's what I've been using. Um, so I saw that they came out with this, I did pick it up and I've been using it for the last week or so. And then, you know, I just figured I could, you know, talk about it. <laughs> All right, so this is the Say Hydra Beam. So it's the skin enhancing face filtering concealer from the future, it says. Packed with clinically tested powerhouse ingredients, it's the ultra hydrating concealer that covers just enough and illuminates a lot. Just a few basic things about it. It's $26. They do have eight shades currently. It's got things in it like squalane and glycerin, tomato extract, which is to help brighten and even uh, appearance of skin tone. Cucumber extract soothes and protects skin with a potent blend of antioxidants. And that's really sort of like the main, the main information about it. So what I have been doing, which I'll talk more about um, my thoughts on the products once uh, in an, a video later this week. Um, this is pretty much all you're gonna see this week is Say Beauty stuff, because I do have three reviews, three videos that I have planned. All right, so my train of thought literally went out as I was speaking. I don't even remember what I was saying before other <laughs> <laughs> then I have a few videos planned for this week. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do half of my face because I have been using it as a foundation as and not just as a concealer. Because for me, the slip tint doesn't have enough coverage. For me to be comfortable really, I like to have, it's not, it's not that I like to have full coverage, but I like, I have too much redness to just put on concealer in certain spots. Like I've seen some people could put concealer on just like under their eyes and maybe in a couple of spots and they'd be just fine and not need like a foundation or like a full, a full thing, you know, going on because their skin tone is so even. Um, right now my skin is a bit red. Um, so I, I, I feel more comfortable with something that's like fully covering it, right? So that's what I've been doing with the Fit Glow. So I've been using this um, on top of the slip tint. So I'll put the slip tint on as like my base so it starts to even out the skin tone. It doesn't completely do it. Um, and then I put the concealer on the rest of my face as sort of like foundation. So, and I don't do it, I don't do it super like full coverage. It's just enough to really even out the skin tone. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do one side of my face so you can see the difference from one side to the other. Um, and then I'll tell you sort of like how I feel about it in terms of compared to my Fit Glow. Since like I said, that's the one that I compare every other concealer to in terms of coverage, staying power, um, just formula in general, all of those things. So I have the shade two. Um, I do use the shade three in the slip tint. It's like the beige one. And I think this is sort of like on the more beige or like peachy tones. Um, one is pretty pink. Here is what the doe foot looks like. So it's not flat. It's sort of this like cone, cone shape. Um, so we're gonna do, which side would be better to do? We're gonna do this side first. Um, so let's do under the eyes so you guys can see. Uh, what it looks like to cover bags. And then we'll do the rest of the face as my cat is like scratching at the door to get in.
So there is the under eye. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the outside just because I have these like sort of like darker spots on the outsides of my eyes. I'm sure that's probably pretty common, but it can bother me sometimes. I do have pretty deep purpley blue under eyes most of the time. And I feel like it does a fairly good job sort of like brightening up the under eye area. Concealing some of that like discoloration. There's one eye, one eye to the other just so you can see the difference. I got some decent sleep last night, so they're not terrible, but I mean, I'm a 35 year old <laughs> single mom. So I'm like always tired. It's like, it's just like my life. It's single moms know how it is. Okay, so that's under the eye. Um, and I like that it's like a very hydrating formula because it just, it feels really nice. And it looks, I mean, it looks dewy now, but I always powder it because I'm not really into the dew look anymore. Um, I used to be more into the dewy, like, you know, the face looking really dewy, like you just stepped out of the shower kind of look. I'm not really so much into that anymore. I'm not really into the matte look, but I do like my face to be not like, slick looking, you know what I mean? And a lot of the products from Say Beauty are very, very hydrating and dewy. So it's good that they came out with a powder because it sort of counteracts that. So I'm going to do um, the rest here now. So I put it on everywhere. Um, since like I said, I've got kind of red skin and I like to even out the skin tone as much as possible. I'm trying to do this. I guess I probably should have done my other, the other side of my face so I could look in the mirror and then you could see what's going on at the same time. I'll remember that for next time I do a demo of some kind of complexion product. Do this side of my face so when I look in the mirror, <laughs> you guys can see it happening. So that is from one side to the other. I mean, it blends in really nicely. I think it looks really good on the skin. It looks really like skin-like. I don't think it looks like you're wearing too much. Now in terms of coverage, I don't think it's the most high coverage concealer I've ever used. It really does just sort of feel like a very lightweight, I don't know, like liquid, foundation to me it's not like light it's like light to medium i wouldn't really call this full because i can definitely still see you know like color peeking through but on the other hand i do like that it is kind of more light to medium because the skin shows through and i like that i like the skin to show through just enough so that you can tell that you're not wearing like a ton of makeup but you are still you know something's balancing your skin tone right like that's what i like so I think it has a good balance for me. I mean, if you're looking for something much more full coverage, I, I think you're, you're still better off with the Fit Glow because the Fit Glow is a much more full coverage concealer. Um, at some point I'll probably have to do like a Fit Glow comparing it to like all of the other concealers that I've got, you know, in terms of coverage. Fit Glow is much more full coverage, but I do like this one because it does look very natural. And I, that's what I like in my makeup. Um, I know that that's not what everybody likes, but I like, I like things to look more natural, just to look more balanced. Um, so like I, it still looks like I'm wearing makeup, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing so much that it comes off as, you know, caked on or unnatural. Um, I'm just, I'm just a very natural coverage sort of like no makeup makeup kind of that's like that's what i'm into these days and probably will be for you know the foreseeable future so that is one one side of my face to the other i mean there really wasn't a whole lot to conceal other than redness today my skin is doing decently well at this moment that there's not a whole lot of like spots or other things that sort of like needed concealing so as you can tell i mean there's really not a whole lot going on i mean like this is sort of a spot that we can work on just so you can sort of see the coverage on that guy. So here's 
this little red thing here. So, and you can in my mirror, I can still see the redness peeking through a bit, but it it did it took it it took it down a decent amount, right? All right, so I'm gonna finish doing the other half of my face, and then while I'm powdering, um, I guess I can tell you guys final thoughts, because there's really not a whole lot. But I have enjoyed using it. Like I said, it's really easy to blend in. I feel like the color match is decent for me. It's going to depend on your undertones and, you know, whether they have something for everyone's, but with eight shades, you know, it's kind of hard to get everybody included in eight shades. So I hope that you know, at this point, brands should be more cognizant about of what people want and people don't want, you know, shade launches where, you know, they're coming in with like eight shades, even if they're somewhat even, evenly distributed. Because when you look at the shade range, you know, there's not like six light shades and a deep shade. It is, to me, it's sort of evenly distributed based on the amount of shades that they've got, but there's, they're still lacking in a lot of places. And at this point, brands should know better than to, you know, launch a new product with so few shades. Is there anything else I can do here? I'm just gonna do a couple dots here. Um, but other than that, I do really like the formula. I like the way it sits on my skin. I like the way it looks. I like how hydrating it is. So now we're going to powder with the air set, which I'm kind of glad that they launched this first before they launched the concealer, because I would have kind of been mad if they had launched a concealer without, you know, a way to set it. Because I definitely am at the point in my life where I need Concealer to be set. You know, there was a while when the Fit Glow concealer had just come out that I didn't need to set it. But you know, as I've gotten older and you know, wrinkles have started to <laughs> wrinkles have started to become all the more common. Like these deep forehead lines of mine. Yeah, those are the worst. Everything always gets like caught up in these, you know, these lines. I definitely am appreciative of a good of a good setting powder these days. Which I need it, especially around the eyes and the, um, and you can sort of see too what the powder, you know, what the powder does. You, you know, you saw how dewy it was and it like took it down. So you can still see, cause this is what I like about this. You know, you can still see like the glow coming through, but it no longer looks like you know, as wet as it did, right? You know what I mean? And I do powder a couple of times, you know, as I'm putting this makeup on because everything is so hydrating. The slip tint is hydrating, you know, the concealer is hydrating, the, the blushes that they've got are really hydrating. Like everything from this line, you know, the bronzer, it's cream, so it's got that sort of like dew factor. Everything is really sort of, it's just, it's that texture. So I do powder a few times, um, you know, while I'm, putting this makeup on. So that is the slip tint with the concealer, which the Hydra Beam, I forgot what it was called for a second, with the Hydra Beam over top and then topped with the air set. And like I said, I really like the way that it looks. I really like the way that it makes my skin look still natural while just being more evened out. It's not the most full coverage. So if that's something that you're looking for, I think you are going to be disappointed in it, especially also that the shade range is kind of lacking. There's not, you know, enough undertones and shades to match everybody. Um, so they're, they're better off launching more shades sooner than later. Um, but in terms of performance, I really like it. I really like it and it lasts all day. As long as I'm not like actively touching my face, if I, if I'm 
touching my face, it wears off just like everything else does because that's just, you know, just the nature of makeup. <laughs> you know, if you touch your face, it's gonna come off. Um, but as long as I'm not actively touching my face and I'm not, you know, like messing things up, you know, blowing my nose or eating or anything like that, it does stay in place. It doesn't uh, move around. Um, I do get creasing, but again, that's, I, I, that might be dependent on person to person, but it's just because I have deep, I have deep lines in certain areas of my face, so stuff tends to collect up here. Um, I don't know that I actually powdered my whole eye, but I know that I put some, I forgot to put, I forgot to put concealer under this eye, <laughs> like I did on this one. Can you tell? There's like a little bit of a, there's not much coverage happening here, so um, that's all right. I'm not going anywhere, but, um, but yeah, so I would, it definitely needs to be set in my opinion. Um, I think even if you, you know, are younger and don't have wrinkles though, I think the majority of my audience is uh, like mid, middle age. I don't think I have a lot of audience that is younger. All right, I just quickly completed my go-to makeup look these days um, using only Save Beauty products. We'll go over what I think about the rest of the line later. I just wanted this to be about the most recently released product. Um, and my thoughts on the Hydra Beam concealer. So I guess closing thoughts, you know, once again, um, if you're someone who likes, you know, more light to medium coverage, you're not looking necessarily for something that's super full coverage, I think you would enjoy it. If there's something that falls within your shade range, um, I like that it's hydrating, I like that it's natural looking, sort of like skin-like, I like, I like that in general, the line brings just so much hydration and like, I don't know, youthfulness to my skin, I guess. Um, I'll talk about this in, you know, my full review video, but I, my opinions of the brand have gone back and forth, like the whole time that I've used them. I had one opinion of them when I first started using them, you know, when I tried some other products, you know, my opinions have gone, they've swung in all directions. Like, this is why I like to try brands and products for a longer period of time instead of just doing like a first impression of being like, oh yeah, it's great, I love it, because, you know, opinions of of products can change over time depending on you know usage maybe you're using it wrong in the you know in the beginning or you know maybe your just opinion of it changes you like something in the beginning and then you you use it more often and then you're like no i really just don't like this at all it's just not a good product for me like that's why i, I take so long to review things is because i like to form like real solid opinions of stuff before I come on here and I recommend it to you guys. So um, I've only, I haven't been using this long, but I, I do really like it. I do enjoy the way that it makes my skin look. I enjoy the coverage of it on a day when I'm having like a not so bad skin day, um, which usually these days is more often than not. Um, I have a bad skin day a couple of times a month. And usually on those days, I just don't wear makeup anyway. <laughs> There's like nowhere for me to go that I need to wear makeup, so it doesn't really matter to me. But on a day when I want to wear like light makeup where I'm kind of doing the whole, I just want like a fresh, I just want like a, a fresh face, right? Like I just want to look fresh and awake and like I've slept a decent amount and you know, like it doesn't seem like my life is falling apart, you know, kind of look, right? What do we think? I like it. So anyway, that's my opinion on this. Um, if you've tried it, or if you want to try it, or you're planning on trying it, let me know what your thoughts are, what you think. Um, I'm excited to keep using it and sort of comparing it to my other products, uh, my other concealers. I, I was planning on doing something concealer related pretty soon, so I'm glad that I picked up you know another one that I have sort of a good opinion on, again, depending on what my tastes are and like what I'm looking for. I didn't necessarily want it to be you know totally full coverage, but maybe that's something that someone else is looking for. So that's what, that's, those are my thoughts on the new Hydra Beam. Um, you'll see a couple more videos from me this week related to Say Beauty and my thoughts on the products. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.